So, got this Sennheiser in ear receiver, and my antenna is not looking so hot. So, I've got the replacement antenna here, and we're going to put it in. We start with a T9 bit because it's got to be a little weird, I guess. We take out the four screws. And then we take this little pin here and we push it out. And that takes the door off. We can put the door aside. Split the case. So there's our buddy, and you can see where he solders through. So we gotta take this board out to be able to work on it. Another T9 here. And those look smaller. T6. Yeah, T6. Now we've got this whole thing free. So we will add a little bit of solder to the point that we're trying to desolder. And it came out that easy. So I fired up my desoldering gun for nothing. So there's the part number there and there. This is for the 558 to 626, but this is a more specific frequency. 566 to 608, the G band, because we can only go up to 608 in Canada. So the old one was like this, and the new one will be like that. want to compare looks about the same maybe the wedge is skinnier on the new one but I think that's fine just gotta get the angle about right that looks okay to me Drop it down in there and see how it fits. And if you're happy, I'm happy. One screw for here. One screw here. Oh yeah. Duh. Change the bit. And the last step is just to put this back on here. Slide the old pin through. Ta-da! I'm not going to show you the front because it's got my name on it. But I will show you one last thing before we go. This is a new bracket. So there's a part number. And I got this clip here from... AliExpress and as you can see that came off very easily and it comes off every time that I try to put it on. So we're going to put the new one on. Downside is it's a little bit more floppy in this direction but it'll actually stay on. Maybe I've got it on backwards. Try it that way. There, that's a whole heck of a lot tighter. That means I have others that are backwards. Good to know. Anyways, hope that was helpful.